Shall we pretend it's two o'clock? Sure. Two o'clock. <laughs> All right. If you don't know where you are, uh, it's a hotel. You're in a building. Uh, and we're, in Williamsburg. In Williamsburg. That's important. And not Brooklyn. Uh, I had a friend who was very excited that I was coming. Okay, I'm sorry. That was my phone. Uh, I had a friend who was very excited uh, that I was going to be in Williamsburg. She's like, all right, you can come by and see me. Not Brooklyn. Not Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? It's the original Williamsburg time. Anyway, uh, welcome. Now that that wonderful tangent has happened, welcome to research for your book. Okay, you guys can leave, but the baby has to stay. <laughs> no, she stayed. I'm it's mine now. Um, okay, um, we have this amazing panel of wonderful and talented people. Erin, uh, do you want to go first by introducing yourself? Sure. Or you okay. I'm McCray. Um, my real name's Erin, but uh, I write young adult or fantasy. Uh, hopefully, my book will be out sometime this fall. I have a Facebook page and website, gpworkhead.com. Um, my name is Matthew Saunders. Um, I have a series coming out. Um, well, this this one just came out. Uh, it's, uh, it's about the Brides of Dracula. So it's uh, um, going to be a trilogy, one for each bride, and um, it's their story, their histories, and there's also a uh, modern day story that kind of runs parallel to the to the historical story in each one. So that's me. My name is Jim Levine, and I write mysteries, fantasy, sci-fi, and romance. And I've written about 80 novels, and I've had to research all of them. I am S.C. Huff, as my fantastic nameplate tells you. I write a series called The Department of the Arcane, which means I did have to do research because it's got government overtones. Uh, and I write urban fantasy, so magic. It, instead of, you know, congratulations, Harry, you're a wizard, it's surprise, you're a wizard. Now prepare to die. So I've got that one. My second one just came out. It has vampires. And the third one, I don't know, there'd be dragons. So we are going to be talking about doing research, and our panelists will have fantastic information on that. So what do you get? So I guess the question we should start off with is, how do you start doing your research? When I did the Peggy Lee Garden Mystery Series, it's dealing with botanical garden, botanical poison. So I had to do a lot of research into the different plants that are poisonous. So every time I would be in a restaurant, my wife and I would be talking about poisons. People would be like, you're in a restaurant, there's poison here? <laughs> so yeah, so we, we did, had, you have to do a lot of research and specific things, but the problem is you do so much research but only like 5% of it could go in your book. Next. Um, <laughs> uh, my name is Jeff Well, um, in, I, I'm first, first of all a huge history geek nerd. So um, that, I mean, that's where the inspiration for the books came from was, was a lot of real Eastern European history. The Dracula in the books is Vladimir Bailey. So, um, so I, you know, based on are ha already having that interest, you know, have went in and, and uh, just read as much as I possibly could about that part of the country, or about that part of the world, and uh, the time periods where the books are set. The first book is 16th century, second book is 17th century, so, you know, just, just going in and finding as much information as I could and reading as many actual historians as I could on, on those two time periods was, was how I started. I research everywhere and anywhere. I, uh, people, uh, <coughs> and people from the SCA, for anything kind of historical, I Google, I watch show, all show on History Channel, library, whatever, everywhere. Um, and some, from my own experience too, I do a lot of stuff with horses in my book and that's from my own experience. <coughs> um, okay, no, that's cool. Uh, I love Google, actually. Don't yeah. Yeah. don't let anyone tell you no, don't let anyone tell you that Google and Wikipedia are not useful tools. Wikipedia, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the caveat I have with Wikipedia is if you use it, make sure that you look at the backups, the references on that. Um, like I'm sure everyone here, I've read a ton. I'm a nerd myself. I have a master's in history. 
I do it on a regular basis without even knowing that I'm doing it. So yeah, don't let anyone tell you Google is not great. Because one of those things, it's like the bad stereotype of a writer. If you look at our Google search histories, which is why you use the incognito window. <laughs> That's why it's there. Yeah, no, it's like yesterday, it was like, how do I eat people to gain their power? How long does it take for a human being to bleed out? Pizza. So, <laughs> pizza recipes. This is not, no, it's not. Yeah, if you looked at it, you would pretty much think that I'm a serial killer. Um, in fact, actually, if you looked at my Amazon while I was writing my thesis, my Amazon buy list, serial killer. But you'd be surprised when you're doing research, you can talk to police and they will tell you everything you need to know about how to kill people and all that stuff because, because they know that you kill people the only legal way. <laughs> I went to a panel once where I think it, it, John Ringo was there, but we, we won't go in here. That's either here or there. But five or other writers were just like, yeah, this is how you kill somebody. <laughs> and it, it's kind of a cool conversation. So what do you find? Well, I mean, we talked about Google and Wikipedia, and those are some great resources. What are other resources you guys Your find? Your library, definitely. Your local library. So yeah. I'm sorry. And your, and your librarians are great resource tools because if you tell them what you need, I needed a book on basket weaving and she gave me like 20 different books on basket weaving. So it was just awesome. This was before I really researched it on then. Of course, when I went online, I had to research the Gull language and different things like that because that was all part of the book. Does anyone actually ever walk up to their librarian and be like, I need to know how to kill a man in Reno? <laughs> So, no. No. No, I talked. I, I called uh, Sheriff from Mecklenburg County. Oh, well, then that's yeah. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point, though. Um, is other people just talking to people who are if you need to know about a particular profession? Like one of my best friends is a doctor, and so yeah. if I need to know uh, some medical issue, then you know, I'll just call him. I'll be like, hey, so you know what? If you were going to kill yourself, and you were going to do it by walking into the ocean. What would you take to make yourself drowsy, just drowsy enough to not fight back? And so he's like, okay, I would do this, this, and this. I'm like, it's thank you. It's weird that you know that, but thank you. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's been a good resource on on uh, on um, you know medical things and things like that, and, and you know, talking to policemen. Right. Will, you know, uh, the last everybody time. loves to tell you about their job, so policemen are a great tool. Could I ask you a question? Um, if you asked your doctor friend, but yet you're writing in the 16th century context, how do you translate? Oh, well, that was for a different story. Oh, it was a different story. Okay. <laughs> that was for yeah. a different story. No, no. Because I would just that say, okay, story. you get this information, but it's from today. But then, how would you get? You'd have to go back to old yeah, medical journals. Yeah, but he's 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 you know he's he's been good <coughs> resources. So I don't have to actually Google you know how long his rotor board does last. Yeah. You know he, he can tell me how long rotor board is last. <laughs> So. How long does rigor work? Yeah, no, it's, I, I always like to live with the nightmare. You guys have heard the story of the executive writer for Criminal Minds who got arrested because somebody found his Google searches. And it was like, how to kill your wife and bury her body. Da, 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 da. And it's like he was doing research for a specific episode of Criminal Minds that he wrote. And somebody, like it was when Google was sharing it with the under the Patriot Act, he got arrested. He actually got arrested briefly because no one found his wife for two or three days and she was like six months pregnant. She's like, no, I just went to see my mom. I'm okay. So it's sort of a nightmare of writers, but yeah, you want to have friends. Is there, I mean, you know, you go to your li local library and I, I won't say library again because that, that hurt. It really <laughs> did. It hurt my really ears bad. were almost bleeding. It hurt so bad. The strawberry is not bad, but anyway, library, yes. But I lost what I was saying. Mm -hmm. No, okay, so I mean, do you prefer having physical research, or do you like to have digital records? Because let's face it, digital <laughs> can be scary. I prefer digital records because I take a lot of pictures when I go, and like when I research a location, I take pictures of where I am. They're all digital, so that way when I'm writing the book, I can scroll through the pictures and see what what I've been doing you know, what the, what the area looks like, you know, that kind of thing. 
Yeah. Anybody? 